Welcome to this series of videos on fertility in cattle, brought to you by livestockdevelopment.co.uk. These videos are for animal health service providers or extension workers, such as AI technicians, NGO and government extension workers, dairy inputs field staff, veterinary paraprofessionals and veterinary surgeons in the field. Their aim is to improve production through improved fertility. Why is my cow not pregnant? That is a question that always needs answered, but an individual cow is very difficult to answer. Welcome to video five, and this video aims to help answer that question. Fertility is always about probability, the chance of a cow becoming pregnant. On good farms, then three quarters of cows will become pregnant at the correct time. For smallholder farms, there are too few animals to be able to make inferences as the numbers are too small. However, in groups of animals, it is possible to investigate possible reasons. So data from smallholder farms need to be grouped. This can be done into villages or vet practices, by bull or AI technician, or by geographies or by selling groups with similar situations and practices. Only if there is good record keeping can any investigation be undertaken. Records can be kept in books, on spreadsheets, or on apps or software. The information that is recorded needs to be discussed and driven by the farmer. It must be easy to record easy to use and make a difference to decisions. Good records can guide decisions on how to manage your cows, measure the productivity of the cows and decisions on culling and selection. The key drivers for fertility and therefore milk production and the number of calves born are the age at first calving of heifers and the calving interval. What is poor fertility? Poor fertility is having fewer cows calving than is desirable. When setting targets, they should be done in participation with the groups of farmers, taking heed of constraints of resources, of feed, and why animals are kept. There are two main aims for good fertility to improve production and profitability. The age of first calving for heifers. The target is an average of 24 months, but not less than 22 months, and not below the recommended target weight. An average of beyond 28 months should be investigated. The second is a calving index target of 365 days. An average of more than 395 days should be investigated. However, both of these are historical representing what has happened in the past and when measured and reported cannot be changed. So, for example, by measuring growth rates of heifers and what age they are served means that interventions can be made if necessary. As the calving index is always at least a year out of date, better metrics that allows farmers and advisors to respond are the conception rate which is the number of cows that are pregnant divided by the number of cows that were served, and the calving to conception interval, the interval between calving and when a cow becomes pregnant. A similar measure expressed differently is the number of services per pregnancy. Prompt record keeping helps the farmer identify which cows may be coming into estrus and which animals have been served by which bull to prevent future inbreeding. A simple paper record should include the cow name or ID, the cow's date of birth, the date of first calving to calculate the age of first calving in months. Farmers should then record when the cow first comes into estrus and write down a date 21 days later to monitor her to see her return to estrus. 
If she is over 42 days post-calving, then she should be taken to the bull or AI'd. SNV has produced a table of indicators, but local discussion on what data can be easily collected, how it is to be grouped, and whether or not cows can be confirmed in calf needs to be considered. For individual cows, this would include the age at first calving, the calving interval, and days to first estrus. As fertility depends on probability, cows need to be grouped into a minimum of 30 to 50 cow groups to get average figures that are meaningful. This can be done, for example, by village or by AI service provider. For these groupings, looking at average figures for calving interval, for first heat after calving, the average number of days to first AI or service, an average number of services per pregnancy or conception allows advisors to identify and to investigate problems. The causes of poor conception rates can be from a range of different causes. For example, if very few cows are getting pregnant and are all returning with normal cycles, then the most likely problem is either with the bull or the quality of semen from AI. If some cows are returning, but at irregular intervals, not at 21 or 42 days, then the most likely cause is some form of infection or early embryo loss. If too many cows are returning at regular intervals at 21 and 42 days, then the most likely problem is nutritional or a transitional management problem. Poor feeding. Dairy cows should have food and water in front of them all the time. Cows are fermenters of the fodder and require plenty of water to get good fermentation in the rumen. Lack of energy or lack of protein in the diet will reduce fertility. Rain-fed pasture, range feeding and pastoral systems will have times of shortage and low fertility. Fodder conservation to cover seasonal shortages will improve fertility. Cows require to eat between 350 and 450 grams of crude protein for maintenance per day, plus 80 grams of crude protein per litre of milk. They also require 55 to 75 megajoules of metabolizable energy, or ME, for maintenance per day, plus 5 ME per litre of milk. For further nutritional advice, see the SNV handbook or the ILRI reference the links are below this video. Poor transitioning from dry cows to milking. If cows are overfat or have a high negative energy balance, then their conception rates will fall. Holstein cows should be kept on a low energy dense, high roughage diet during the dry period. This means that they have to eat a lot of food to maintain their low energy requirements. This maintains rumen function and a high dry matter intake. When they calve and have high energy requirements to produce milk, they can transition to eating larger quantities of a high energy diet, reducing the negative energy balance. Cows in negative energy balance will have a higher incidence of uterine infections and fertility problems. The transition to high energy diet should take place slowly over two to three weeks before calving. Even if cows are well fed, if they are low in trace elements such as selenium, cobalt, copper or iodine, then they will be less fertile. Establishing these levels may or may not be possible, but supplementation of deficiencies can improve fertility in a district. This is especially important when importing exotic genetics. Care should be used in supplementing with copper or general minerals. Do not forget to include the bull when supplementing cows with minerals, as bulls are important in getting cows in calf. Our next video looks at the importance of bulls. Hopefully this video will help advisors answer the question, why is my cow not pregnant? But in an individual cow, it is very difficult to answer. 
The key to identifying and investigating a problem is good record keeping. Fertility is always about probability, the chance of a cow getting pregnant. For good conception rates, then good fertile semen needs to be available. Our next video looks at issues with AI and the importance of bulls.